In this video, we will be covering setup of the MPF in the Studio 5000 software, as well as how to send read and write messages. Starting off, we will need to create and add the module using the EDS file. When using the EDS, we will need to select the module definition we are using. If you are using the FDR with the MPFEN1, we will use the process data in structure. If you have issues with the EDS, you can also set the device up as a generic Ethernet module. Here we can set the device data size as int and set the assembly instances and sizes from the manual. Keep in mind that the sizing in the manual is listed in bytes or synth sizing and you will need to divide by 2 to get it into int sizing and divide by 4 to get it into dint sizing. Next, we will be going over how to execute this function at this address. Starting off, we will need to create a tag to store the message data that we will be writing to the sensor. It's important that the tag data type matches the info in the manual. Next, we will create the message and begin configuring. Our instance will always be 0 and the class will always be BE. However, the attribute will change based on the hex address in the manual from the data we are trying to read or write. For the length, we want to mirror the length in the manual for the attribute we are interacting with. Here we create a simple move instruction to move the value we want to write into the tag that we will be writing from. Next we will be going over how to read info at this address. First we will need to create a tag to store the message data that we will be reading from the sensor. It's important that the tag data type matches the info in the manual. Next, we will create the message and begin configuring. Our instance will always be 0 and the class will always be BE. However, the attribute will change based on the hex address in the manual from the data we are trying to read or write. For the length, we want to mirror the length in the manual for the attribute we are interacting with. <laughs> 